Hello, welcome back to RichTech. Today we are going to attempt to repair this 60 watt MagSafe 1 charger and uh, it appears to be okay all the way until this end. This is a common problem and we've repaired this before but uh, the unique challenge with this is that uh, the pins are sunken and it appears that this uh, connector had uh, an issue of power surge or it blew up so I'm going to open up this connector at this point and uh, check these pins because they seem to be stuck and we'll attempt to repair those pins together with this now so that you do not waste much time on this and uh, start by this repair and then we find out that the connector pins are not working. I'll start by repairing the pins. So stay tuned and let's see if this will work after the repair. Now to attempt to repair this kind of damage on the connector. First of all I'll remove this metallic connector. Pure long nose plus can easily remove it. This will give us a chance to see what happens underneath. If you look sideways, you'll see that the middle two positive pins are stuck way down. So you want to see if the damage is permanent or uh, they can come back up. And to do that, we'll just push them in and see if they spring back out. Uh, one of them springs back out, but the other one is stuck. So there's some bit of plastic which is uh, stuck to it, which came from this inner plastic portion of the connector. So I'll try to scrape this out and see if this does any good. Now with these burnt pins, it tends to be the plastic which has melted and gone into this holes where these pins go into. There are two ways of making the pins come up. The first way is that you can just scrape all along the pins and remove all the plastic which are stuck to the side until this pin is smooth but they, you run a risk of uh, making uh, this pin to be loose or making it to bend. So be very careful as you scrape off the plastic from it. And uh, if you find out that uh, this pin still is not being depressed, the other thing you can do is to use this soldering bit connected to the power uh, source and heat it up. And then you can uh, use it to heat up this pin, uh, trying to melt off all the plastic that's stuck into it while you're pushing the pin up and down. Now, I've used the uh, this soldering bit and I've used it to of course when it's connected to a power and source and it's hot now because it's plastic which has melted and is holding the pin down I'll gently depress this plastic these pins and see them bounce back and eventually if they are stuck firmly there with the plastic the plastic will melt and leave the pin now if you do this for a long time Eventually the plastic will all melt and leave the pin and so to ensure the plastic does not come back to the pin again you can apply some Vaseline on top of these pins and then use again the soldering bit to depress the pins into their sockets watching them come back again or bounce back. If you do that many times you'll find this uh, result. You can see the pin which was stuck I think there were two, the middle positive ones. This was the worst one and now it's uh, out. Most of it is out. And uh, that's a good result. Now let's go on and check this with a MacBook and see if it works. Now I've got a new plastic uh, separator. This separates the pins, the connector end here. So I'll place it over the pins and then I'll get a spare 
contact this pair contact I'll also place it over the pins and I'll press this down with a pair of pliers but as you can see I'm also covering it with tissue so that I do not leave any marks from the pliers onto the connector body or the contact so I'll squeeze this tightly this is just for checking purposes it's not the final assembly now once that is uh, squeezed in perfectly you can see the the pins are still popping out that's a good sign so I'll go connect this to a MacBook and see if it is working and there it is don't know if you can see this clearly there is a charger it's charging fine the connector is working now what remains is this portion which is a fairly easy fix and I'll go ahead and show you right now now repairing this worn out portion of the cable is fairly easy let's cut off the one part of the rubber insulation make sure this end is neat rounded and uh, there are no frays then we do the same to this side but on this side there are two ways to go about it either we remove this outer rubber insulation which we'll try to do just uh, rotating it many times our aim is to remove the inner insulation from here and we want to make it neat now removing this outer rubber insulation from here is fairly difficult sometimes it's easy if you rotate it round and round it will come out easily but uh, given that this one is difficult I'll, I won't bother removing it but I've done one more thing I've gone inside here and cut off this piece of this rubber insulation which was stuck in there so as to make room for this so we'll push or pull this all the way inside here and secure it with glue and this is the piece which I've cut off from inside there and while you're doing this a few strands of this negative wire may become uh, cut and here they are so these ones are easy to deal with you just remove them neatly and uh, cut them off Now I'll pull this rubber insulation all the way in here and I've held it with glue. Now if you do that, this should be the result. If there are any wires sticking out, you can cut them off and you'll have a, such a neat joint and the next thing we need to do is to uh, permanently secure this remember we had not uh, put glue to this metallic contact now you can go ahead and affix it with glue I'll remove it again being careful not to leave any marks on it Then you put glue all the way around, making sure that the glue does not go the side where we have the pins. But the glue should cover all the area around. And also apply, carefully put that plastic in there now we can use this metallic contact with a metallic pin there see that pin so you can use that 
to know permanently uh, repair or fix this joint again we hold it with some tissue before we squeeze it tightly into place with uh, this pair of pliers make sure this goes in all the way so that uh, the pins are not uh, left hanging in there when you try to connect now that's fair enough remove some tissue which may have been held using the by the glue we'll clean that up but uh, your result should be this you'll see the pin still jutting out that shows that you've done a good job now this is the result after cleaning with the after I've cleaned this area with this razor blade I've removed the excess glue the tissue paper which was stuck this is the result now we can go ahead and uh, confirm if this is working once again there's a macbook once again connected you can see it's charging fine it's green turning to amber i'm looking at that point and that's how you repair your mac MagSafe chargers when you have the pin sunken and also a gash at this point. It's now having a new lease of life. Once again, thanks for your time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Give comments, like and share. Thank you.